Hi YouTubers, um, this is my YouTube story. My name is Charlotte and as you can probably guess I'm from England. Uh, I started YouTube a few years ago, it was probably 2007 or 2008 and it started off and I wanted to get some critique and to get some praise for my work from people who didn't know me and who weren't going to be biased towards who I am or how good a friend I am, etc, etc, because that's hard to come by these days. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it's great to see how many views I've got and how many subscribers I've got, which isn't too many. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to, I was. it was more important to me, and it still is now, to see what people think of it, what people really think of it, and what people who play just, just like I do, see what they think of it when they're being picky, um, see what they think of my articulation, technical ability, tone quality, that kind of thing, because um, it's important to become to becoming a good player to know what other people think. Um, and it's done just that. It's helped me a lot, um, and it's built up my confidence and confidence, and in some cases knocked it down, which is important because as a performer, you need to have. A reasonable amount of ego to play, but not so much where you think you're perfect and where people who critique you in real life and are paid to do it um, are going to knock you down. Because I'm going for music colleges in November and having critique from people who I don't have to pay <laughs> and who aren't my best friends is really important to me and it's been really helpful. Um, it's great to see how many people watch because of other videos, like people who've watched my um, rendition of Stranger on the Shore because they've seen the original version and because they like it. Um, and it's great to see people who see stuff like Futuria, which is a really lovely piece on my sax. Um, and it's just a really good medium to meet people who are of the same standard of view, lower standards, people who respect you sometimes, um, and people who are prepared to watch your video with interest and with enough interest and pay attention enough to give you a good overall analysis of how well you're playing and where you need to improve on. Um, and I think YouTube's fantastic for that kind of thing and uh, I just hope it continues. Recently I haven't made so many videos because obviously I'm practicing a lot and it's usually the same videos over and over again um, and I'm quite scared because there are sometimes people who are going to be harsh to you about your playing and about your instruments and they're even harsh to you about instruments you thought you were good at um, and it's fair to it's because it's the internet and people want to do that to make, them look, make themselves look fantastic but just remember that at the end of the day your opinion is the most important that it's important to have other people's and not everybody is going to like you in this world I'll stop being a philosopher now and say that um, so what I was going to say which was I've recently started a new instrument which is cello and my tuning and everything isn't that isn't exactly perfect um, so I haven't done any videos on that instrument because I'm scared <laughs> um, and I'm nitpicky myself, like, I do a lot of graphic design and if I see a design that I've done that isn't that great, I'll just close it straight off, I won't even save it. Um, so yeah, YouTube's, my time on YouTube has been fantastic and I wouldn't change it for a minute, even all the bad comments and all the crap playing I've done. Um, and I think this idea of putting everyone's videos together is great. Um, and my voice is really stupid right now. So I'm going to go. Happy birthday, YouTube!